Hello, today we're going to be doing some reading. I'm going to be showing you a book I have here. This is a wonderful book and I'll leave a link in the description uh, of this video in case you want to check it out. It's Advanced Calculus by Fitzpatrick. In any case, <clears throat> um, let's get started. Sequences and series of, of numbers. It says in chapter two, we studied convergence of sequences of numbers. In particular, in section 2.2, we proved the following important result. The monotone convergence theorem. A monotone sequence of numbers converges if and only if it is bounded. And it says, this is a criterion for convergence that is intrinsic to the sequence itself. It does not require any information about the proposed limit. Hmm. But the monotone convergence theorem does require that the sequence be monotone. As the sequence negative one to the n shows, which is bounded, in general, it is not true that any bounded sequence converges. We will now establish a criterion for convergence that applies to all sequences of numbers. So this is really cool. So now we're gonna look at this here. And this is a definition. It says here, a sequence of numbers, a sub n, is said to be a Cauchy sequence, provided that for each positive number epsilon, there is a natural number n such that we have this inequality here. The absolute value of a sub n minus a sub m is less than epsilon if n is greater than or equal to n and m is greater than or equal to n. We will prove that a sequence of numbers converges if and only if it is a Cauchy sequence. This too is a criterion for convergence that is intrinsic to the sequence itself. It does not require any information about the proposed limit. Moreover, monotonicity is not required. We will prove this result in stages. And then they go through, and here we have a proposition. I'm gonna eat some berries here. Give me a moment here to catch up, eating little berries. Hmm, they're really good. Okay. Every convergent sequence is Cauchy. So suppose the sequence converges to some numbers, say A, let epsilon be greater than zero. Uh, then you define an N such that uh, that is true. But since it converges to A, we may choose a natural number N so that that is true for every K greater than or equal to N, correct. Thus, if this is true, the triangle inequality implies, oh, I see. You could insert that in there like that. And there we go. So pretty cool. Mm hmm. Pretty cool. Every Cauchy sequence is bounded. Hmm. Mm hmm. And then by the reverse triangle inequality. Hmm. That's a. That's one that's in this book. And in some books, it's a little bit different the way it's stated. So if that seems confusing, don't worry. It's just because it's written a little bit differently in this book. But you can show that using your version of it or even something else maybe, so. I always find it's better to like rewrite the proofs yourself sometimes because that way you know you know it. But yeah, so we made it through two pages. I think that's good. Keep doing mathematics.